How's the music? Uh, it was very loud there. Was it like a really musical event or something? Huh? Oh yeah, they did a concert. Uh, Akide Yamaoka was uh, hanging out, played some electric guitar, which he is skilled at. Uh, you know, he, we did a we did an interview about him about the music. He's like, yeah, we did some stuff with uh, symphony, but most of it's like you know, kind of punk rock style, like you know, Grasshopper. They're that kind of dude. So so I tried to do that. But yeah, it was pretty fun. Everyone drank a lot more than normal game events. I think it's because it was kind of a concert right. feel, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Pretty fun. As for the game, you know, I'm I'm still interested, but yeah, it seems very kind of you know normal, straightforward game, not quirky. The hell depicted in this game is the overall sum of all things evil, dark, and scary in our daily lives. It represents all those things. That's what this game is all about. It could be over there, or like there. That's where the world of the damned is. Gladly, that's the end of Invisible Walls episode 157. Should we get the apologies in now? Sorry about that. Yeah, we really apologize about the show. It's been... Uh, it, it's wasn't my fault. As tough as it. it was for you to listen to it, for us to record it, it was five times worse. It's taken us almost 90 minutes to record what is what I will cut down to a 20-minute podcast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bit of a disaster today. Uh, I think we did at least get through a ton of topics, but they, it happened so long ago, I can't even remember what they were. So there it is. Episode LA Noir comes out in a couple of weeks. Yes, that it looks, does. Yeah. We should actually be having a report from LA Noir pretty soon. So make sure you stick around for that. Also, don't forget Reset every Saturday morning. Columns from all the guys here on the show. Uh, definitely talking about things you're not going to hear on Invisible Walls. What's your column about this week, Shane? I'm not going to tell you. I have to check out Reset. But they are written, boys and girls. They are, they're not video. We write them in what's known as the Queen's English. Yes. Um, I do. The Americans know know. what they write them in. I know reading is one of those things that has kind of been left behind in today's school systems, but uh, hopefully some of you guys have mastered it and uh, can check out Reset on Saturday. And then we've also launched a brand new feature called Level in the last week. Ryan, this was kind of your baby, so why don't you explain it? Uh, Basically, these are just little love love letters slash deconstructions of the best little moments in games. Um... Starting with some of the big heavy hitters, but I think we're going to get some more obscure things in there. And it's just uh, something that people can actually claim credit for and just share with uh, people great moments from great games. Having some older games, but hopefully we'll get some newer ones in there too. Uh, I think there's a lot of good stuff that people sometimes, they know it's cool, but maybe if you actually think a minute, take a minute to think about it, it's kind of interesting to see why something is so cool or stands out. Yep, it's all about celebrating the parts of games that we love most, and that's what we like to do here at GT. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week with a much better episode. <laughs> <laughs> Invisible Walls is up and out today. <laughs> <laughs>